they're already endangered. Now many of Tasmania's threatened plants and animals have been listed as the likely first casualties of climate change. A new report has identified the state's most vulnerable native species, including a tree that's already on the brink of extinction because of warmer temperatures. Tasmania is home to some unique flora and fauna, but according to a new report, many species could soon be lost to climate change. This report um, is, a, is a very important first step to ensure that we can identify the issues so that we can start to take some concrete steps and some practical steps to protect our biodiversity. The most vulnerable areas are the state's alpine regions and marine environments. Warming in our mountains may allow plant diseases such as the root rot fungus to climb up into our mountains higher than it is today or into the forests which are currently too cool and stop the spread of the root rot fungus. Warmer ocean temperatures are expected to increase the spread of invasive species such as the spiny sea urchin which is decimating Tasmania's rock lobster population. Freshwater creatures such as the green and gold frog and giant freshwater crayfish are also under threat. The first casualty is likely to be the Myena cider gum, endemic to Tasmania's central highlands. The species gets its name from its sweet tasting sap, historically enjoyed by Aborigines in the Great Lake area. The impacts of drought, pests, insects has really given them a hammering over the, the last 20, 30 years and you know, they could almost become the first sort of local extinction. But while some species are already on the brink of extinction, it seems action on the report is still months away. It's part of uh, an ongoing process to develop uh, a broad response from government to the issue of climate change and we're hopeful that that will be complete by the end of the year. With 600 native species on the line, every day is crucial. Anna Yard, ABC News.